Hi guys, I've got a plum tree in my front garden that's going into complete overdrive this year, making up for the lack of plums last year. So I thought it was about time I actually did something with them instead of letting them go to waste and made something for you all. So stand by for my spiced plum cake. And here's one fresh from the oven. For this, I'm gonna be using 12 of my ripe plums, 140 grams of plain flour, together with a heaped teaspoon of baking powder, 150 grams of caster sugar, 115 grams of room temperature butter, two large eggs, a pinch of salt, Finally, to dust the top of the cake, I'll be using another two tablespoons of caster sugar together with a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Start off by preheating your oven to 180 Celsius. Just like that. Next, you'll want to half your plums and take the stone out. That didn't take long at all. Next you want to cream together your butter and your sugar. That should just take about a minute or two just to make it nice and light and fluffy. There we go, that's gone nice and pale and fluffy. Next, I'm just gonna use a bloom whisk to make sure my baking powder runs right the way through the plain flour before sifting that in with the butter. Now my eggs and my pinch of salt can go in before I mix it all together. Now like all good cakes, beat that only until it's just combined. Don't over beat it because you'll knock the air back out. And now I'm going to put this into my pan, my heart shaped pan here that I've greased already. Just get that out in. And just gonna pad this across the bottom. Before pushing your prepared plums into the top. Now I've got two little halves left that I'm just gonna cut up to fit them into the spaces. And the last thing to do before it goes in the oven is mix your caster sugar and cinnamon mixture together and sprinkle it over the top. Mine's had 35 minutes in the oven and it's all done and ready to come out. Now you could continue and enjoy this warm, maybe with some custard, ice cream or cream, or let it cool and enjoy it with a tea or coffee. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this today. If you do make this at home, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a picture because I'd love to see it and come back for seconds. And it's all done, it's as easy as that. So the only thing left to do now is to serve it up.